Remember back in episode three, we briefly experimented with rotating an art mesh. We also talked about how Live Two D mechanic. Uh, the polygons only travel in a straight line from point A to point B. This reveals the problem and topic of this episode. The problem is that we cannot rotate art mesh directly. When we try to do that with a rectangle, it shrinks in the middle of the transition. Now, this is purely because of how polygons naturally travel in a straight line. In order to rotate things in Live Two D, use the rotation deformer. Now, there are two ways to create them. First. Is to select an object, or multiple objects if you want them nested. Then click this button on the top. A dialog would appear, and you can give it a name. And other things we rarely have to worry about. Press OK when ready, and then give it a test. Now this works on both Art Mesh and other rotation deformers. Another way. Is to first select the object, and then use this tool to click drag to quickly create a rotation deformer. You can continuously create them. However, notice that the next one you create is the child of the last one by default. Before we move on, let's expand on this topic about parent-child objects in Live 2D. For example, if a deformer object is applying its movement to an art mesh, then we say the deformer is the parent of the art mesh. The art mesh is the child of the deformer. A deformer can be a parent or child of another deformer. Meanwhile, an art mesh, because it cannot share its movements. With any other object, it can never be a parent. A parent can include multiple children. We can call the two children of the same level as siblings. We can change the parent-child hierarchy anytime. In the last example, the relationship is defined upon creating the deformer. If you disconnect the relationship, you can go to The hierarchy tree, and click drag the child away from the parent's nest. You can also click drag into another deformer to become the child. You can do the same by click dragging on the parts in the parts tree. The moment you release the selected object, it would become the child of the hovered object. Be careful with this, though. Often we misclick something on the parts tree and end up messing the model structure completely. Note that you can also click drag from the parts panel into the hierarchy panel or the other way around to edit the hierarchy. You can also change the parents in the property panel. Parent-child hierarchy. Is one of the key technicalities in Live 2D design. It is as important and as difficult to improve as rigging 3D perspectives. New learners have trouble understanding why certain parts of their model do not move as they should. It's often because of incorrect hierarchy. You don't know what the problem is, or may not know how to fix a problem you see. It is likely. Missing the concept of hierarchy design, a poorly designed hierarchy tree leads to repetitive, non-scalable work. It also causes glitches and errors in detailed parts for certain combination of parameters. So, for new learners, you'd want to follow sample models strictly on designing the hierarchy for your own model. But note that this would only take you so far. So you'd have to learn how to develop your own design at some point. You may not need too much effort in this if your model only handles one or two features, but if you're good at it, you can implement more cool things all together into one model without breaking each other. The important design element. Is what gives logical engineers an advantage in Live 2D.
So if you're a software engineer or a web dev, you know what I'm talking about. Now let's go back to the usage of Rotation Deformer. Here are different ways to rotate things. Remember, first you need to register some keyforms on the parameter in order to build an action. Conventionally, any params with Z in the name implies that it's meant for rotation. So let's use angle Z for now. Give it three green dots. Now, go to the far right dot. This is where we can give it a clockwise rotation. To define a rotation movement, we can simply click drag the deformer's arm. But in some cases, this way of setting the angle may have improper results. For example, if I rotate this much and let go here, does it imply the action should be rotating like this or like this? Now that's why sometimes we want to directly define the value of angle turning instead here in the property panel. For your convenience, sometimes you also want to create the former, but then the default value is not at zero degree, which makes it hard for you to keep up with all the math calculation all the time. You may use this button to freeze the angle and redefine the current angle as zero degree it doesn't really affect the actions you have already built. This is just the abstract of the values. Other than rotation, we can also change the opacity with the rotation deformer. The deformer itself has no visual in the final product, so it's not about itself showing or not. It's implying that the opacity would transfer to all the offerings Art mesh under this deformer. We can also control the scale of all its offsprings. You can edit the scale by changing the scale value in a property panel or click drag the ring of the deformer. Last thing we can do is moving things around, repositioning all the objects under it. That's all for part one of Rotation Deformer. We'll continue in the next episode.